What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking back in from a park that we are very familiar with, Six Flags Over Texas. And there is a lot to see and do today. We're doing a tour and review. Let's go. <laughs> and the first ride of the day is gonna be the new Texas Giant. Let's go. Good morning. station. Alrighty guys, so we just had a chance to do our first ride of the day, New Texas Giant, and this is the OG RMC, and you can tell it is the OG RMC because it feels a little bit slower, and I know you guys have said in some of our previous tour and review videos that maybe I just caught it on a bad day. Um, it's morning time, we got the second trade out, front row, I know it's going to be a little bit sluggish. But it's still a fantastic ride. I just, I'm so used to RMC going balls to the wall and I didn't get it there, but so be it. However, this one over here has never been to this park and uh, that was your first time. So what'd you think? Yeah, so it was my first time to the park. This is two times that I've tried to come here. It's been closer to weather. So this was my first ride of the park. Um, I thought, yeah, like you said, it was totally chillax, which is my kind of ride. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not like a ah, balls to the wall. But yeah, I thought it was kind of cool for the first ride, very chillax. Um, I can't wait to see what's in store for the other rest of the day. And plus, uh, who knows, for the uh, coming back towards the you know middle of the day, end of the day, we'll see how the ride is running because rides do change. Uh, yep, it could be it? could be a little quicker. We'll see. Yeah. But now we're on our way over to Titan. And I love Titan, so let's go do this. And here we go. Titan is near the picnic pavilions. It's a little bit of a walk from uh, New Texas Giant, just kind of ride around the corner actually, but uh, we're almost there. There's Titan. New Texas Giant going up the lift hill also. Beautiful morning. Not a cloud in the sky. Let's do this, Titan. <sighs> Here we go. Alrighty guys, so we just did our second ride of the day, Titan. And when I used to live in California, we had a ride that was very similar called Goliath. Titan is pretty much the same thing, just has an extra Helix of Doom. Uh, and that Helix of Doom was working perfectly today because I was graying out like crazy. I don't know if it's the Texas heat, uh, I didn't eat a ginormous breakfast or something like that, but uh, it was kicking. It was awesome. G-forces were great. Lauren, what did you think? Oh man, <laughs> that was a, that was a wild ride. It was a very unusual ride for me. Um, so like halfway between the ride, they have this, you know, the break is just like complete stop. I was like, okay, uh, what's going on? Is there an issue? No, it's just the coaster. You know, it has to have that stop in there. You're like Dan said, you know, your your brain's gonna melt if it isn't there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, after that, you got the helix. It's like. Rrr. It's a, it's a pretty pretty wild ride. I, I like it, um, but you know, I think it's not one that you go, you know, 10, 10 times in a row, otherwise you're gonna know. Yeah, if you marathon, if you marathon <laughs> yeah. that thing, you were gonna be in some serious trouble. We yeah. did two rides pretty much back to back. Did front row first, then did back row. Uh, by the time we did our second ride back row, I was getting off the ride and my legs were a little shaky, yeah. so that's pretty awesome. Uh, I don't know if it's me just getting older or what, but Titan, good ride, I always love it. All right, so now we're getting a special treat, a behind-the-scenes tour backstage of New Texas Giant. About to go in. You're the official trick <laughs> Why are you running away? I never run away from your videos. You're right. You're right. I never run away from your videos. I, in fact, I jump in them and act like a fool. You're right. So there, I just did the same. Okay. Are we no, we're, we're even. No. Oh no. no. I was about to wave hi. No, I, I'm just I'm just recording for a video later on. Oh perfect. Yeah, but thank you for joining. I can't wait for this to get cut. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry. 
All right, this is pretty cool. We're getting some awesome views, and look how many people are here. That's a lot. Good stuff. <laughs> Tons of awesome views. All right, this is kind of neat. We get to tag the ride. And there we go. We have tagged the ride. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. All right, now that was a pretty cool tour. I had a chance to get some unique views and sign the ride. And our third coaster of the day is going to be Lava Bora, bobsled coaster. Let's do it. And here we go. It's only been about maybe 20 minutes. Ride. All right, so we just did the bobsled coaster Lava Bora, and we had five people on there, somewhere probably around almost 800 pounds on the car. Yeah. It was flying, fastest ride I've ever had on Lava Bora. What do you think? Oh, that was an interesting ride. So it was uh, kind of like the bobsled type. And like she said, there was quite uh, a few people on there, and Dan and me were in our own little section there, and I felt like we were like kind of vacuum sealed in there. Yeah. So each, uh, so one section of break, we hit and we were like, yeah, we slammed into the mid course of all yeah, some of those. It was honestly a, a kind of a, a, an unusual ride, um, you know, not my favorite like the other two, uh, but you know, it was okay. Um, but yeah, on to the next one. Yeah, these bobsled closers are a dying breed. And uh, I would suggest getting on them if you see one very soon. But Lava Bora, all done. Casa Magnetica. I'm not sure what it is. It has a peacock. Rainbow bird. Those of you guys have not been here, welcome. It is not a scary house. It is just tilted. Even though we do have skulls and flowers, it is here to help us celebrate Dia de los Muertos. Because it is a tilted house, I do have rules and regulations. Make sure you hold up the railing. Feeling sick or dizzy at all, you can feel free to exit anytime. And make sure you have a nice day here. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. All right, this definitely feels like one of those spinning haunted tunnels. You guys gonna help me? Sure. I'm throwing this pink icing on my cake and it just keeps changing colors. Is that pink thing? Oh, yeah. I don't know what to do. Nothing seems to work right in here. Time for our next roller coaster. It's gonna be Schwarzkopf. Shockwave. Gotta love it. Yeah, not much of weight over here today. And here we are. All right, so we just did Shockwave, and I always liked that ride when I've been here for other tours and reviews, but I don't think I've ever sat towards the back. It's usually been towards the front, and wow, crazy airtime. I was not expecting some of that, and uh, I think it caught Lauren by surprise, too. What did you think? Oh, yeah, it definitely caught me by surprise. A couple, like, when you go over that, I was like, whoa, here we go, out of the sea kind of thing. And usually, like, when I ride towards the back, I'm expecting, like, 
It's a rough ride, I'm preparing myself for it, but it actually wasn't too bad um, when it was in the bag, honestly. Um, so um, I actually really did like the ride. Um, it's definitely, I would ride again. It was very smooth in my opinion. I mean, this ride has some age to it, but the Schwarzkopf's, for some reason, they still are pretty smooth. And this provides awesome G-forces with the, the double loops. It's awesome. Plain and simple shockwave. I hope it stays here for a very long time. Alright, so just did the runaway mine train and it was actually pretty good. I mean, it's got some really weird transitions and whatnot, but the ride itself is pretty smooth when you're not in a wheel seat and whatnot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but honestly, mine train was pretty good. Uh, it's the OG, it's the original. Still runs great. If you've ever done a mine train, it's because of that one right there. But we're on our way to the next roller coaster now. Next up, gonna be Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. Premier Rides, awesome attraction. Let's do it. That is all clear. Welcome, riders, to the Mr. Breezy Bird Squad. Keep your ball on the cards and it's on the card all time. Hold on tight and enjoy your ride. All clear. Well, we were next to board and the ride shut down. Don't know how long it's gonna be. Hopefully not too long. All right, so next roller coaster is all done. Mr. Freeze Reverse Blast. And uh, I've always liked the Mr. Freeze attractions, whether it's in St. Louis or here at Over Texas. Awesome experience. And the fact that they've turned the trains backwards as opposed to what it originally opened with, I think it makes it the better ride. Uh, what did you think for your first go on a Mr. Freeze period? So uh, when I first came up here, I pretty much caught a glimpse. So I thought it was just, you know, a tower coming up here. Um, but then when it shot up, first of all, the launch is pretty intense. Um, so when you go up there, you're thinking, oh, okay, like I said, a tower. Um, but then you get all these twisted things like an element, like a roller coaster. And I'm like, man, this thing is continuing to go on and uh, it keeps going. Uh, overall, it's pretty exhilarating ride, very intense uh, for my first Mr. Freeze, so I, I, I honestly did like it. Very, very intense ride, and I honestly would probably go back like the other one for a second ride. Yeah, I, I think Mr. Freeze is one of those rides. You do it once, you're going to want to do it right again. Uh, as far as the rides here at the park, in my opinion, I think it's top three. Uh, it's a shorter ride, but I really think it's a good one. And now we're on our way to the next one. So we just did Texas Skyscreamer, and this used to be the world's tallest star flyer until some other ones opened up, like the one in Orlando that we have climbed and covered many, many times before. Uh, great ride, I like it, but very short ride, very short ride program. We're talking like 90 seconds or so, and I don't know what it is. Hear me out, okay? I don't know if that's 400 feet. I mean, they advertise it's 400. Being up there, it just does not feel as tall as, say, the one in Orlando. I don't know why. Could be a perspective thing. I don't know. What did you think, though? I honestly thought it was neat. I like how the ride operators, like, interact with you, too. Um, Some will be on, like, Mom, Mommy, <laughs> on it, and he's also, like, repeating the same. Um, it's great how they have their views of the park that you can see down at the roller coasters, too. Um, that was pretty neat. Um, the was similar to the other star flowers decorated in, like, the Texas. Um, colors with the star too. I, I honestly really like the ride. Yeah, it's a good ride and uh, again, I'll never say no to a star flyer. So. <laughs> yeah, you're like, so, I want to climb too. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate to say it. While I was riding it the whole time, I was like inspecting the tower. I was like, man, I want to climb this right now. Maybe someday. <laughs> 
Batman the Ride, our next attraction. Let's do it. Awesome views, Mr. Freeze and Batman. station. Yeah. All right, so we just did Batman the Ride and well, it's just like all the other Batmans around. The only thing I can't say though is this one had just a little bit of a rattle and we were sitting towards the back of the ride but I did gray out on the first loop so that's good I mean rest of the ride is pretty good though but uh, what'd you think? Yeah so it was a little bit of a rough boy for me uh, I don't know I wasn't too big of a fan but you know it can't all be you know but aren't you a B&M fangirl? Yeah, aren't you supposed to love every B&M that's no, on Earth? that's not true. Maybe I was just having a bad, bad coaster day. Maybe it was just wasn't. Maybe it rolled out of bed. You know, not, not uh, it, it woke up and chose violence today. I think so. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, Batman the Ride, it's still a fantastic addition to this park. And uh, if you get a chance, definitely try it out. The Riddler Revenge, a pendulum ride, and these are awesome. Just down the way, we have the Joker, a 40 free spin, and Catwoman Whip, which is an awesome enterprise ride. And then over here, we have Harley Quinn Spin Sanity, an absolutely bonkers ride that, uh, well, I'm not gonna ride. I have no desire to. Sorry guys, that's just me. But we are gonna take a ride on the Joker. And here we go. We're about to get on. All right, so we just did the Joker, and I like SNS 40 free spins. They're not my absolute favorite ride, but I will say this on this trip, wow, we were flipping all over the place. I was making sound effects that I shouldn't have been making. Uh, I was like, ah, 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 ah. I, I, I don't know why. We were upside down more than we were right side up. Yeah. Uh, Lauren has done one other 40 free spin, and that was at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. Yeah, yeah. What did you think of this one? Well, these rides are absolutely insane. You don't know which way you're going at any time. Uh, I don't know how to feel, honestly. These, I don't know, the <laughs> other one, like I said, the one before this, I was like, mm, don't know what I have to say. This one, like I said, this is like an absolutely crazy ride. I really don't know what to say, how to explain it. Didn't you say you came off the ride and you were seeing green and orange spots yes, or something like that? I don't know if that's advice. I don't know what to say. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's bad. I mean, it is the Joker. Oh, I don't know I don't what know. to say. Still a good attraction, and uh, I'm glad it's here. But uh, if you don't want to flip or spin or something like that, yeah, avoid that ride. <laughs> avoid it. The next roller coaster, Pandemonium. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, so pandemonium is all done and I felt like a top. Spun round and round and round. We were counterweighted and that was awesome. I like those style of rides. What did you think? Well, it's definitely like a fun ride. Um, we were riding with a uh, couple, couple of kids and the thing, so we definitely spun quite a bit. Um, yeah, I definitely like those kind of rides. Like you said, fun, exhilarating. No, no complaints. Except you're just a little bit dizzy. Yeah, I mean, I was still dizzy from last ride. Yeah. So. I, I think, honestly, it's the heat. It is ungodly hot today, and we got to go find some water. And now we're over here by Aquaman Power Wave. Last time I visited, this was under construction. Well, it's still under construction. Oh. 
Fright Fest is going on and we're about to do our first haunted attraction, Piggies. And it's got Midway font, so I think I like it already. All right, so we just did our first haunted attraction, Piggies. And we've been to literally hundreds of Halloween events. This one, a little interesting. Uh, obviously, not big budget. So if you're expecting like Universal or something like that, change your opinion. Uh, but are the scares still there? Yeah, you betcha. In fact, the last one for that house, without giving anything away, I just saw a kid stumble out and crawl on the ground. And he wasn't faking. It was pretty funny. Yeah. What'd you think? <laughs> that was a lot of fun, that house. This is my first, um, I think, Six Flags Halloween event that I've been to. And honestly, that was pretty cool. There was a lot more like props. So I, I kind of felt like I was going through the aisles of my app, but, like the Halloween section. Like They had yeah. bought every single prop there. Yep. <laughs> and it, a lot of people were closer to me. Like some guy was like it, screaming in my ear. Like That's like, probably the closest I've had a, a character come to my, my ear. And it was honestly a lot of fun. I actually really enjoyed that more than most <laughs> the, <laughs> the scares are still good. Yeah, it depends so good. on the scare actor, and yeah. if you have some really good scare actors in there, yeah. it doesn't matter if the house isn't the greatest, it's going to do pretty well. But yeah. piggies, not bad. All right, so it is ungodly hot here in Texas, and what is a good way to uh, kind of refresh and relax? Well, we stopped off at this little ice cream place, and Lauren, what what have we gotten ourselves into? That is Dole Whip. I mean, look how much they serve you. <laughs> That's massive. <laughs> Love it. Maybe that was spectacular. Speaking of spectacular, Gladys is the most powerful witch in all of Six Flags. So beware. You never know when she might put a spell on her. Thank you, Angela, for that marvelous discussion. All right, fast forward and nightfall is upon us. We're about to do Titan. And here we go. Not a terrible wait. Ooh, spooky. So night falls and we actually have some fog around the area. Last round of the night, we're gonna be doing New Texas Giant. All right, well, I guess that's going to do it. Last ride of the night on New Texas Giant, and it was the first ride of the day for us, which is kind of funny because we were saying, eh, it's kind of sluggish, it's kind of slow, I don't know why people like this so much. Uh, well, now I know why, because last ride of the night, at least for us, back row, it was hauling the mail. We were getting airtime everywhere. It was fantastic. Lauren, any final thoughts about New Texas Giant, at least during this trip? Oh, well, definitely, like you said, at night it seemed to be uh, going a lot faster. Um, I really like night rides on um, most coasters because you get to feel the, the park lit up at night. It's very nice. Um, but yeah, faster, better. Um, I wish I would have experienced it in the front, but the park is closing. No worries. We can always come back. Yeah. There's always another time, and honestly, we've been here at Over Texas many a times before, and we'll be back many a times again. So uh, awesome rides, awesome park. And I think it's time to get out of here, guys. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for our visit here from Six Flags Over Texas. Had an awesome day, to be honest. I really like this park a lot. It's kind of nice that Lauren finally had a chance to do it because of all the other times she's tried to do it, it's been a unicorn park, yeah, and you finally yeah, got a chance I to did, do it. I did. So what'd you think? I honestly thought it was a great park. Um, all around, the rides were good. You know, I had a couple eh ones, but for the most part, um, everything was pretty different. Um, Mr. Freeze had the launch going up, the unexpected uh, twists and turns. You <laughs> lost your mind on that one. As soon as Mr. Freeze did. started doing the launch upwards, she was like, what is this? Yeah, exactly, <laughs> and um, New Texas Giant was really cool, like one of the um, original like um, RMCs and, and then Titan which uh, got the cool helix uh, like the helix of yeah. death yeah and they also have really cool merchandise on here I love Six Flags for the merchandise too. it's very different um, it's not just not um, park related they have poster stuff too that's yeah. really neat 
Um, and as far as the food, they have all kinds of food here. And all around, it's a really good park. I, I really enjoy it, and I'm really glad I had a good visit today. Good. Good to hear. Now, one thing I do want to point out, out of the three visits I've been here, only one time has it not been very busy. Every other time I have needed fast lane because it gets incredibly busy. So if you're coming to the park, especially during Fright Fest, plan accordingly because otherwise everything's gonna be an hour, hour and a half or something like that. But overall, fantastic rides, fantastic park. And I do wanna say the general manager, this is not kissing butt, is starting to really make a change with this park. You can see new paint, new ideas, new things like that. They're trying to give it more light. And uh, I have noticed that myself in the last couple of years. And uh, it's nice to actually see it being implemented here at the park. So Six Flags Over Texas, you're doing an excellent job. Uh, I do want to say thank you to Ace and Lone Star Coasterthon yes. for the event. We had an awesome time with ERT. Great event, great food, great Q&As. Couldn't have asked for any more. And guys, I truly enjoyed myself here at Over Texas. You same, too? definitely, yep. same. Yep, and hopefully we're going to have more videos. So if you like what we do, also on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And we will see you out on the Midway. Bye, guys.